Okay, so these are, so these are your mosquitoes. Um, and I'll use my little flashlight here. So this here is an example of a fed mosquito and I'll shine the light from below. Oh yeah. And you can nice see how she's nice and full awesome. of blood. So what we are doing is we are sorting fed mosquitoes from unfed um, with the goal of finding at least 10 fed mosquitoes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Yeah, ten. So that's ten mosquitoes, and then these ones who are unfed are going to go into a cup containing seventy percent ethanol. This will cause, uh, will fill their respiratory system and cause their scales to delaminate, which will kill them very, very quickly. Um, so the important part here is because we're in a clinical setting, our goal is to account for all mosquitoes that come in and all mosquitoes that go out. So I need to have a tally of how many are in each cup and how many I'm killing for each group because we don't want any rogue mosquitoes flying around. Um, for additional safety reasons, that's also why the door behind Elaine over there is closed um, and why there is an electric fly swatter on hand on the off chance somebody decides to take a flight. Um, Thankfully, these mosquitoes, so these mosquitoes pose no risk of transmitting infection at this point, even if they did consume infectious blood. It takes between 10 and 14 days for mosquitoes to become infectious. So they're going to go into this little cup. We're going to seal that. It's going to get a biohazard label, and we are going to take care of it for 14 days, and then we will determine if it is infected or not. 